Hey guys, George of the Ski Monster, and today we're gonna go over how to choose the best type of ski boot for you and your skiing. In this video, we're not gonna get into the nitty gritty of how ski boots are supposed to fit, what flex makes sense, or any of the variables that need to be considered in order for you to end up in a specific model of boots. Uh, these four boots really cover the main categories of ski boots from traditional four buckle alpine to hybrid to touring. Now, in order for us to narrow the best type of boot down for you, we need the answers to a few questions. Where do you spend your time on the hill? How do you get to the top of the hill? Are you riding a chairlift? Are you skinning up? Are you doing sled laps? Maybe you're doing some heli skiing. Maybe you're doing a little bit of everything. We also need to know what type of bindings you're clicking into. And last but not least, we need to know how many ski boots you wanna have in your quiver. Now, a boot like the Mach, um, a traditional Alpine boot, this is great for a skier that's spending the majority of their time riding chairlifts at the resort. Maybe you're boot packing a little bit, but you're getting to the top of the hill via chairlift. As far as binding compatibility goes, you can click into any Alpine binding, and if you wanna do some touring, um, you can use a frame binding. Um, Yes, it's gonna be a little bit clunkier because that's how frame bindings are. And no, you don't have a walk mode in the back, so it's gonna be a little bit tougher. Now, if you wanna have something that's gonna be a little more uphill friendly, we'd go into a boot like the Cochise. Um, walk mode is gonna make this feel like a much more fluid and natural stride. Lighter weight construction, just gonna make you more efficient on the way up. And you got tech inserts with grip walk soles, so you're gonna have really great binding versatility. And you do all of this with minimal downhill performance sacrifice. I mean, you really sacrifice almost nothing in this boot. Now, if you wanna, um, maybe you're out there and you're spending more time with skins on than you are sitting on a chairlift, well then we'd end up in a boot like the Zero G. Um, a boot like this, it's really more about weight reduction than it is downhill performance. It's about, it's about getting you up the hill. Um, everything about this boot is lighter, from liner to shell to buckles to soles, everything. I mean, even looking at it, this looks more minimal. Um, you're not gonna have quite as much downhill performance here, but you're way more efficient on the way up. Now, if you're not spending any time on a chairlift at all, ending up in a boot like a zero G peak carbon, this would be sweet. This is about getting from point A to point B as efficiently as possible and as fast as possible. You're more concerned about um, having performance on the way up than the way down. Basically in a boot like this or any boot that's a thousand grams or less, there isn't much downhill performance here. It's just about point A to point B. Now, when would I grab a boot like this? Um, I'd probably be product testing, or I'd be going on a multiple day backcountry hut trip. But push comes to shove on that hut trip, you know, I wanna have some fun on the way down, I'm probably gonna end up packing a zero G. Sure, I'm gonna be a little bit slower than my friend that's wearing this on the way up, but I'm gonna have more control and responsiveness when I'm on the way down, and I, you know, work hard on the ascent so I can have fun skiing down, I need to have my priorities lined up a little more with that. Now, if you said I could only have two pairs of ski boots, I'm lucky enough to have a boot that lives in each one of these categories, but let's say I could only have two, I'm gonna have these two guys here. And I honestly spend the majority of my time in a boot like this. I actually ski in the Mach 130 for the most part, but a lot of my days they're all product testing, um, all lift served and skiing all over the place. And even if you know I get into a situation where we need to do a boot pack, I can still do that here. I can suffer through that. That's not a big deal. But if someone hits me up and they're like, yeah, George, we're gonna go you know, touring for a few days, um, wanna go, I'm gonna wanna use this. Um, if I'm gonna be able to keep up with everybody, I'm gonna to need to lose a little weight and be efficient on the way up and I still have enough performance when I'm skiing down through powder and all that. Now, if you said I could only have one set of ski boots, 
I'm going to go with a Cochise 130 um, or a boot like it. Um, I get the best of both worlds and I get a boot that's walkable and uphill capable with very little sacrifice on the down. Where I'm going to notice a little bit of that sacrifice is if I'm clicked into basically something like a, a race ski. Other than that, this boot performs just fine and I got one pair of boots that can do a heck of a lot. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to contact a gear expert at theskimonster.com or book an appointment with us here in Boston.